Hi guys, I'm Alex and today we'll try together to design a binding attachment for one inch webbing and then we'll print it with the 3D printer and hopefully it will work. So for the, I'm using Fusion 360 and I really love this software. Let's create a new sketch. Okay, so um, probably there are better ways, but I'm just pushing a line and I want it to be, I'm using the dimension tool now that you can use with the D key and I want it to be along the, let's say 11 millimeters. So I can, uh, Uh, it's just for me to know uh, how long I'm drawing uh, the dimension of what I'm drawing. So this is five millimeters. Okay. So I'm going to use the, the spline. It's really really cool. Um, Okay, more or less, but I need to adjust it. Okay, and now it's better. 11, we need to move this one. Because the one inch is uh, approximately 2.5 it's 25 millimeters so we have this one that is 11 11 down around 11 uh, then around 5 millimeters here that I think it should be fine let's try to level this one so okay I think it will work. So the next thing to do is, anyway, it can't be right at the first try. I, I, I'm doing this uh, sort of tutorial just to to explain what is the, the way, which is the way that I used to, to print, uh, to design this binding attachment, but then, if you want to make a custom one, uh, you can uh, uh, use the same technique, but adjust to your need and to your sewing machine. So right now we have to select the offset tool. You see, now we have the, it's one millimeter thick. And if we press okay, then we select again the line and we connect these two little pieces. Okay, it's done. So now we have only to draw um, like a sort of a sort of uh, piece where the binding attachment can be put. Um, for doing this, we can just create a new sketch. Swing. And just we'll do it like this. And like this. And I think it should work. So. Okay, I think that we can just, I mean, it's just a try, so we don't have to think a lot. We have to see if it works. So I select the extrude tool and I want an easy fast print. 
so I'm doing yeah 20 millimeters so I can see if it works and if it doesn't I don't waste a lot of PLA that is the filament that I'm using with the 3d printer okay so now I can print it I mean I can export it uh, hi okay uh, uh, I did other, I tried it again like, uh, before. So now, no, 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 okay. It's this one. Uh, let's open Kura. This one was, was the old one. And but um, so now we have only to print it because everything is uh, ready. Prepare and 11 minutes to print. Okay, print with octoprint. So see you later, and I hope that this time the binding attachment will work. <laughs> Bye. Okay, it just finished. It just finished the print. Let's see on the sewing machine how it works. Okay, let's see. It just try so Okay, it fit inside. It fits really well. So this one should stay here, or maybe we can also do the angle one. But let's try with the like this. Oh. See how it yeah it doesn't work really well it should be more the angle should be uh, could be better but anyway I was interested in the concept not really I knew that it wasn't work See, it has to be improved, but it's already something. I think. I hope you like it. So here we are. The video is ended, and I'm here asking to you if you could subscribe to my channel or click the like button if you like the video. I'm going to upload new 3D printed attachment and cool stuff for the sewing machine and if you don't want to lose them please click the subscribe button if you have something to ask to me you can write in the comments and i'll try to reply it as fast as possible so see you in the next video bye